السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ويكنتين إن شاء الله تعالى وصورة المرسلات سورة المرسلات سورة نمبر 77 and we'll go through إن شاء الله تعالى verses number 16 we'll just take uh, to 19 only إن شاء الله short session إن شاء الله from 16 to 19 so open the Mus'haf, inshallah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Alam nuhliki al-awwaleen. Thumma nutbi'uhum al-akhirin. كذلك نفعل بالمجرمين ويل يومئذ للمكذبين ألم نهلك الأولين ثم نون شدة تكست كونس نتبعهم الآخرين كذلك نفعل بالمج بالمجرمين ويل تنوين افتر تياء تو كاونس ويل يومئذ للمكذبين ذا اذر تنوين وذاوت اني غنى سو ويل يومئذ للمكذبين از ا فيرس ريبيتد ان ذا سوره اند افتر فيو فيرسز يو وود هير ذا اجين ويل يومئذ للمكذبين uh, and um, the previous ayah, which is ayah number 15, is Wail wa yawma'idhi lil mukathibin. Woe on that day to the deniers of the truth. So it's before that it talked about the day of judgment and some of the details of the day of judgment. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, says after that uh, was mentioned, uh, saying, Alam nuhlikil awwaleen, which means didn't we uh, destroy the the ancients, the first ones, the early generations of the humanity and so on, those who denied the messengers. Uh, and it's a question that the answer of it is very clear. That means we destroyed the nations before those who denied the truth. أَلَمْ نُهْلِكِ الْأَوَّلِينَ ثُمَّ نُتْبِعُهُمُ الْآخِرِينَ Then we, uh, shall we make later generations to follow them. Those who, the like of them. You know, نُتْبِعُهُمُ الْآخِرِينَ That means... Those who came later, they denied the truth. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them follow their ancestors. Uh, and the sunnah of Allah, the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is repeated. It's not changed whatsoever. So one generation to the other, the ancients, those who are present now at all times, the people are either believers or disbelievers. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, خَلَقَكُمْ فَمِنْكُمْ كَافِرٌ وَمِنْكُمْ مُؤْمِنٌ He's the one that created you, so from among you, are believers and disbelievers. So those who were early, those who came later, there's no difference. Humanity are the same thing. Human beings are the same human beings. There's no sophistications of any sort or anything. It's just the same the same thing. And as mentioned before, that human beings, they tend to think that their generation is the best ever, is the most sophisticated ever. And when it comes to the haqq, the truth versus falsehood, human beings are the same. And their arguments are the same. And their doubts are the same. Their belief is the same. So it's, it's basically the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in humanity. So the same thing with the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. كَذَلِكَ نَفْعَلُوا بِالْمُجْرِمِينَ This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as he says, this is thus we do we deal with the mujrimin, the criminals, the kuffar, the believers. So this is the sunnah of Allah. As Imam Sa'di rahimahullah, وهذه سنته السابقة واللاحقة. This is the way of Allah. السابقة, the previous one, واللاحقة, and the later one. في كل مجرم, in every مجرم, in every criminal, in every disbeliever, to find disobedient to Allah, لابد من عذابه, that he has to be punished. This is the way of Allah. لابد من عذابه. فلما لا تعتبرون بما ترون الاسمان. So why are you not taking lessons? from what you see and what you hear. So again, this is the deception that human beings, they have when they're, uh, when they're not looking at the ways of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on earth. 
So uh, again, the entire humanity is based on the purpose of its creation. They're created to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So some of them believe, some of them disbelieve. And those who are defiantly disobedient to Allah, the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is continuous and it's not abrupted by anything. It's the same thing. So therefore it says afterwards, Woe on that day to the mukathibin, to the deniers after they saw the clear verses and the punishments also. And they still continue to be in the state of disbelief and denying the truth. So again, these few verses here shows us the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that deals with the uh, evil doers, that it's not changed, it's the same thing. Uh, when we look at the words of the ayat, Alam nuhlikil awalin, Alam is a question, didn't we nuhlik from halaka, destroy? And uh, halaka destroyed, then it can either refer to someone died, even if it's someone is virtue, or uh, someone is evil. So it doesn't, you know, necessarily means uh, that it's something evil. But here, alam nuhlik al awalin, didn't we destroy al awalin? Al awalin from awal, the former ones, the first ones. And al awalin doesn't necessarily refer to the first ones, but refers to those who used to be in the beginning of things. Then we follow them from ta'ba'in and taba' to follow al ittiba' to follow from al ittiba' huday. Then we follow them al akhirin. Akhirin is the opposite of the awalin, the later ones. Like the day of the is the last day. كذلك thus نفعل we deal or we we do from فعل بالمجرمين with the criminals from jim ra mim. And it, uh, the, the root of it comes when, 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 the, when a fruit is cut from the tree. Uh, this is al-jaram. And uh, it's basically when someone is defiantly uh, opposing the, the truth, is away from what uh, he's supposed to be attached to. So criminal, criminal acts. And that's the word that is used for the criminals. And the mujrimin in the Quran refers to the disbelievers. Those who know the truth and they turn away from it. ويل يومئذ المكذبين وطقت بالذا بفور ويل is woe يومئذ on that day it's a ضرف زمان للمكذبين to the deniers of the truth so this is uh, one of the shortest sessions very short but I hope it's uh, clear إن شاء الله and it's uh, you know what matters is that إن شاء الله if we apply it in our life and we get to have the fear of Allah سبحانه وتعالى in our hearts and and we uh, bring these, this, these are medicine to the hearts, the medicine to ghafla, the medicine of heedlessness, the medicine of uh, disobedience to Allah, is to get to know the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the face of earth. Uh, and the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the promise of Allah for the believers versus the disbelievers, and to constantly be in that state of uh, reminders so that we can benefit from it, inshallah. And also to give a, to give a chance so that we can Memorize, inshallah, the verses. So we reached verse number 19, and tomorrow is off. So um, please, inshallah, try your best to memorize the verses if you can. And the more you recite when you're memorizing, the more that it affects the hearts and the meaning of it, especially that we get to understand the meanings of it, inshallah. Uh, also, tonight is the night of Jumu'ah, a virtuous night. So to make salah on the Prophet, والسلام, to prepare ourselves mentally for the day of Jumu'ah and the rewards to be done there and for Salat al Jumu'ah and so on. طيب بارك الله فيكم. We'll see you inshallah Saturday inshallah. So Saturday and Sunday after Maghrib between Maghrib and Asha is Fiqh inshallah. Uh, the entire time between Maghrib and Asha till from 5 to 9 inshallah. وصلى الله وسلم بارك الله محمد وصحبه وسلم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله.